Hey on everybody. Uh, just a, a quick thing before I start tonight. I'm on my way out to that station again. It's a fair way out. Well, when I left home, it was um, I left home at five o'clock. It's still 42 degrees. Where I'm headed is 44 degrees. So it's going to be a hot night. This is my last night. Um, before this is my last uh, night for the load. I won't be shooting anymore until after Christmas now. Once this is gone, so by the time you see this uh, video, there will be um, some clips from the, of this load over the last, you know, the few nights I've done gone out. I've got some good ones, some good footage, some good brews, gone waters and that. But yeah, no, I'm just I'm heading up there again now to hopefully get another good night. I got 42 the other night. Um, also, that fella that commented, his, his first name was Greg, I think. Check the last comments, mate, because uh, you won the stubby holder from Mrs. RDD. Uh, I just want—I put my email address so you can send your address so we can send it to you. Doesn't cost you nothing. We're going to send it to you. Um, and you'll pick another comment for, from this video. Just want to say thanks to everybody for watching, commenting subscribing and sticking with us um, we're still learning obviously all this kind of stuff's new to us new to me especially all this technical stuff um, just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a, good, a Happy New Year and stay safe and I hope all you uh, whoever is shooting rose professionally that, that, that are watching if there is, is any watching I hope you're getting good numbers and good loads so um, yeah, this will be the last video before Christmas. I'm going to Perth to have Christmas with your son and daughter-in-law and uh, do a bit of fishing and relaxing by the water and get out of the heat for a week. It's just so bloody hot up there, it's incredible. Hoping and praying we get some storms in the next couple of weeks, we need them real bad. All right, everybody, thanks again and Merry Christmas to you all and Happy New Year. Cattle are in the, around the trough. And the roos are out on the outskirts, waiting to get in and get a drink. Right, I'll just get a look around first. Only the little ones. See you would have heard it.
boomers. The winds just started to pick up a little bit. Oh, look at the size of him. Well, that was the closest. Bruno nearly jumped in the window. Turn around because he might see. Absolutely what he was. Prick comes straight at me. Ah. Nearly jumped in the window. He's about to shake his hand. Ripper. Ah. Right at the back there. Here he is. We got him. He wants to come with. He obviously wanted to come with me, bad. He's a big boy too. Ah. Uh, right over there. Absolute rippers again. It's a bruise on that water. Bloody trouble is to when the breeze gets up a bit, they get towy. Now it's hot. They drive around the crops. Whole different ball game. This is the one that really, um, really jumped in my window. So I'll hang this one up and I'll hook you back on in a minute. Yeah, I'll just pick that other one up. These are those other two. I've got the trough. One there. Another big one there. Once, hang these up and uh, keep on chipping away. The end of the night now. Bloody wind's getting me down now. Got some good ones, but some nice ones to uh, finish the load before Christmas. Got a fair way to go. I might pick up some more and a couple more windmills, but I'll hold my breath with, if I can get a couple more of these big fellas. That'll do me. It's probably half a ton already on the back of more, I'd say. So good ruse. Catch ya. So I just finished putting the ruse away. There they are in my triller. What you'll see on this footage is all these. I've got them in three and a half nights. They're all good ones. A bit knackered now. Looking forward to a break. Catch you later. Hello everybody, welcome back. Here we are, another episode. Just come up to that station where the chiller was. And um, <laughs> waiting for it to get dark at the boundary to shoot on the way up. Then pick the chiller up and come home in the cool because you've been 42 degrees today. 
Got a bit of help today. Tonight, there's Leap and Leroy. The young, I got muscle with me. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we get some of them big boomers and he can lift them for me. Made a new rack. Lift off bar. Yep. This was all made for that little chiller so I could walk straight in and off. In and out. Nice and quiet up here. So hopefully there's some roos around. And um, we can hook into them and um, before we get the chiller. I've got about 10 or 12 mils to check before I get there. And um, hopefully see you back soon with lots of roos. Oh, we got three for the start. We just got to take our first three. Uh, bit of breeze building up, but it's very, very warm. So hopefully, um, more to come. Nice one.
gel in its pouch. Oh, geez, it's warm. My Christ. That's one, two, three, four, five so far. Five up and head on to another mill.
joints. been to this mill for a while Thirty. 
in these two good roost too bloody hell Bucks everywhere. They're shootable, but
time to have a wash. Still bloody warm. Clean a few, not far from the boundary, and head home. That's um, that'll do me. I've got 40. I'm happy with that. Like I said, I could have shot. <coughs> Sorry about that, dust and that. I could have shot another 50, 60 does, seven, even more. I'm just going to shoot them just for shooting sake when they're, when they're full of jelly. Start the night. Just went past him, he was crouching down on the bloody climb on his bushes there. Hopefully, more of these to come. Alright, we'll get him up, keep on going. Couple up. I think we've got about 17 now. So hang these up and keep going.
they come in now and then I might have only but I was past you half an hour ago. this one again so it's like crisscrossing to keep back to it all the time just shows you how close to the home set it is but just wanted to, just wanted to show here Small odd little ones, does but we'll see how we go for being selective here. Thank you. 